Hi, welcome everyone to this session How to utilize the power of digital disruption What is meant by digital disruption? When I say disruption, it completely destroys the whole environment and it creates a new one So this we are going to see under the umbrella of digital environment which I call it as digital disruption So let us first look at the problem statement Will digital disruption affect my business? Whatever business it is, whether it is a small size business or medium size business or large size business, whatever industry it is, it is whether it is going to be a banking, retail, uh, or airline, or you know any kind of industry for that matter, will this digital disruption affect my business? Let me take a simple example of digital disruption. Take for example the industry, uh, taxi industry, where you can see Ola and Uber has made a lot of changes in the in the uh, entire booking of the cabs. You might have seen how the cabs was booked like 20 years before and now you see the total environment has shifted to the digital disrupted environment, right? So there are a lot of digital changes happening in the environment and will all these digital disruptions affect my existing running business should I adopt to those digital disruption or should I stay with my own uh, pace of digital or non-digital or whatever it is with my current status and second one we will be seeing what are the different elements causing this disruption over the digital world and then we will be seeing whether there are any opportunities or for, for, for this uh, disruption whether it may cause any threats if I don't follow and those impacts that we will see today and next we will see about how should I compete with the digital giant or should I partner with the digital giants when I say digital giants there are you know few digital giants which I call as Facebook Netflix Google Amazon or you know Amazon web services for that matter or Microsoft Alibaba Tencent Accorna so likewise there are different digital giants should I compete with them or should I fight against them over the competition and then what I will learn from digital giants during this disruption environment and this is what the problem statement that we are going to see today let us pitch into the next slide what is called as disruption first thing disruption is not a dirty word it is most used buzzword today but it is you know under the misunderstanding some people are afraid of the disrupted environment okay people may think that you know they may lose lose jobs or you know business people may think okay there is a lot of changes in the digital industry should I adopt to it and how much funding should I make to adopt the digital industry things like that and there are a lot of negative sentiments appearing in the digital but when you see there are a lot of opportunities are there because of this industry and we need to harness the power in the right direction if you do it in the right direction disruption is not a threat it is the opportunity for our company what is the disruption is causing to me it is actually a fundamental shift when you understand the disruption it means a fundamental shift that you are making from one area to another if you really analyze and see it if this is taking me from a point X to Y when I do in one way or another way what is being disrupted if you don't understand what is being disrupted and if you don't understand what is being shifted then you will definitely lose this disruption happening and you may fail in the business also during the long time and what are the elements of disruption so there are four elements when you see there is business technology industry and society when I say business there are a lot of you know business changes or business disruptions that is happening over the economy for example you know there is a market change there is a pricing change there is a delivery model change in the business for example take Amazon okay so there are a lot of changes happening in the business front and second thing if you see there is a lot of technology shift and I'm oh, sorry before in the business shift you can see uh, you know there is a lot of Facebook where you know there is no user fee and you know if you see uh, 
Google, the search and advertising is completely free in the business. This way, which was not there like 20 years uh, before or you know 30 years before. But you see the way we do a search or doing advertisement in the digital world is totally different. And similarly, when you see technology, there are a lot of technology improvements. When you see Netflix, there is a streaming profile and now people stopped using the cable TVs. Okay, and when you see Google, there is a lot of page ranking algorithms which came which was not there like 30 years before. And similarly, if you see Amazon, there are a lot of, uh, you know, uh, cloud computing, which is the biggest technology disruption over the world, which is happening. And next one is the industry. When I say industry, uh, for example, take Uber. Uber is a bigger changes making them bigger disruptions in the industry if you see the Facebook we can see the privacy versus access and when you see Netflix there are streams versus stores okay so I I don't buy a CD you know when I am getting a movie for around you know 30 rupees or you know 100 rupees a month where I can see a number of movies totally there is a different shift in the industry and when I see society, society also there is a lot of change and uh, you know when you see Netflix there is a binge watching and uh, there is a lot of social impacts onto the society and uh, when you say like you know 20 years ago there is uh, you know my mother used to say don't talk to stranger and don't get into a car okay we are while speaking to a stranger but today I am not doing that today I just talk to a stranger by booking a cab in the Uber and I get into a car with a stranger. So there is a lot of expected change in behavior and the change in society where people are adopting to lot of environment changes to the disruption environment. Okay, all these things lead me to the positive environment. No, but there are few things, you know, which there are issues, okay, which leads to some negative sentiments. You know, I call it as, you know, disruption is a fatigue I build something over uh, you know in my industry or you know in my company where immediately after six months down the line it is going to be totally disrupted by a new technology and you know I have to face the consequences for all the budget that I made to build something which tomorrow there is nothing like that for example take iPod which built by Apple okay iPod they they you know took a lot of steps in building an iPod but after uh, 10 years they didn't feel that you know there is something needs to be picked up in the market they willfully you know dropped it and they you know start building something new like iPad kind of thing and the perception is totally different when I say there is a disruption people think everything from a negative sentiment that you know it might uh, affect my budget or my expense or you know adopting to the new environment and things like that and we should actually uh, you know understand the real uh, difference between the features fads and disruption which I am going to discuss in the next slide and next one is the consumerization so today I am building a business and I am earning some uh, you know uh, income through a consumerized way or business model where tomorrow it is going to be obsolete right and uh, whatever it is a consumer market or business market I am going to lose something so how do I avoid this okay so that is what we are going to see and uh, we have discussed about the features fad everything is in the you know which is coming up in the new style is not a disruption so there is a difference between a features fad and disruptions let me discuss about the uh, uh, sorry the word fatigue let's let's discuss about the word fatigue now uh, when I say fatigue you know and you know if you search the word disruptor in Google you see the uh, interest over time by Google searches this has really bumped up on 2017 and 2018 there is a lot of bumpy gap okay uh, because people are and the companies are really worried about the disruptor right and if you see on the positive side disruptions create opportunity for large number of companies and when you see in the olden days this radio was being used and after the video was introduced we may say 
this video killed the radio stars right but actually they haven't lost in the competition they have shifted to the uh, you know the video uh, uh, culture where they had moved from the radio usability to the video uh, you know space where they were so likewise when you see there is an opportunity uh, or the when there is some disruption it stops growing there and growing somewhere else right so radio is disrupted by the video I would say it's a complementary and when you see this slide okay the Netflix bring binge scale the members blow through baking bad orange is a new black so all the searches and you know the uh, preferences that you make right all these now this binge watching on online video continue to live on but when you see the video making and in, uh, industry is still there so this is totally the complementary way of increasing the number of videos production so new opportunity made available to others which is what we need to understand and second thing everything every technological change or every new things is not a disruption we need to understand the difference between these three if you want to really understand the word disruption let us discuss about the feature now when I say feature for example if I am adding a package tracking uh, to my website that is not a totally disruption that is that just the feature that I am adding so likewise if you see any retail website it has a package tracking so package tracking is a feature it is not a disrupted environment it is just an additional of a feature over the whole environment right and there is a notification sent to the uh, uh, SMS through SMS to the uh, through the phones for any transactions so those are all additional features that is not actually the disruption and what is a fad so fad is just the uh, you know the, uh, the 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 technological shift that we see you know understanding that it is going to be disrupted for next uh, you know uh, uh, five or six years or ten in the future but really it is not like that the dif the real difference between fad or disruption is the longevity fad may just continue for three or four years and it may go on for example take Pokemon Go okay which is an augmented reality we thought that you know this will totally disturb the whole world and the gaming industry but it is not it was there for few years and it, it went on and there is a second life which was introduced by IBM and you know few blue chip companies whereas IBM you know left the mainstream and it didn't succeed after two or three years so second life it was a new uh, technology or a new uh, you know bubbling up of the uh, uh, the space the the digital space which came up but which didn't succeed it. and this 3d TV which was coming back and forth which didn't really you know came up and uh, you know so all these uh, fad technologies were just invested opportunity in mind and capital on a capitalize on it in a very short term right so this will not be the disruption these are all just the fancy things which come up over the technology and we don't know sometimes this fad may also convert to the disruption based on the longevity it has for example take cloud cloud was initially a fad right but it was now really a disruption total disruption to the digital economy now if I want to store something in my internal environment apart from the regulatory authorities by the country like RBI uh, we don't have you know need to set up this uh, uh, you know the uh, total infrastructure ecosystems in data company I can move everything to cloud where you know it is just a license based so the real disruption comes in the cloud computing uh, where there's the you can see the smartphone change the whole world and these disruption items will lay ground work for continuous innovation right so these may 
uh, be a platform to other technologies or other new business processes coming into place and you might have heard this uh, you know the healthcare insurer CAO and this was a famous quote we have to act like Amazon and Google very fastly because our clients demand it and they expect us to where if you see people are used to the digital uh, or the mobile phones where you know things are happening very fast you order things you know it comes to your home and you know you just uh, pay it uh, through the cash you don't have to do anything right the way the speed the delivery if you see and the quality of everything is going to be very fast and because of that our clients expects even the insurance to do it in the same way and everything happen want to happen in the same way right so digital has totally disrupted the economy but unless you deliver those things very fast to the customers you are easily out of the game now let's look measure something what is happening in the disruption industry so this is just a scale to measure what was really disrupted by using a tornado EF is nothing but enhanced Fujita scale introduced by Japanese and uh, EF0 is a Richter based thing and you know it is a powerful uh, you know power of tornado we can uh, uh, measure it which is you know in the Richter scale it is like 10 times higher which produces more energy creating the disruption but on the negative side and there are human uh, sacrifice there is a property damage EF0 is very small and EF1 is, is you know I would say very minor and EF2 is um, medium EF3 is major EF4 is critical and EF5 is the totally you know disrupted environment right so similarly we also measure you know few things from the uh, digital disruptor scale okay in the next slide we are going to see this right so likewise since there are you know for like 5 EF0 EF1 EF2 likewise you know uh, we are measuring this magnitude the digital disruptor in a different uh, five scales one is enhance next is extend transform reinvent and and uh, revolutionize when I say enhance uh, there is just a small features or something to be added so uh, you know you see there are like you know there may be low or no secondary disruptions and when you see the second thing extend extend is something I am you know like uh, in the, on the right hand side if you see work activities the employees spend more than 20 percentage of a paid time in a different way where if I need to do some changes over this if I need to utilize the 20 percentage of the productivity yes I need to do something on that right and the third one is transform transform is the large scale social effects is getting generated like I would say something like a, a, you know the uh, ebooks which came up and uh, you know the AR VR environment which was uh, actually transforming it and the fourth one will be the reinvent when I say reinvent it the totally you know uh, the economy is getting reinvented for example take the uh, smartphones uh, which has made a really significant uh, impact over 20 to 90 percentage increase or decrease in the key performance measure right and fifth one is the revolutionize I would say this is the new market created across the unrelated industries and where the old markets get totally destroyed and uh, you know people who are using the old methodology were called as you know very traditional uh, uh, you know uh, uh, companies uh, you know. so the those are the changes where I see a multi billion dollar industry is born or a old one just fades away in time for example the cloud the cloud is actually picking up where if you see there is like 60 to 70 percentage shift in maintaining the softwares in the cloud and this is the Gartner's digital disruption scale 2018 if you see on the right hand side uh, you know it was given uh, the real uh, disruptions from low 
low to moderate, moderate, high and massive and these are all the uh, negative impacts or you know the positive impacts which came and which transformed the whole society and when you say the revolution is or the massive disruption is the world war 2 and the industrial revolution which it made on the low is something like a client server computing and the direct access storage and when you see in the left hand side yes there are really notable uh, digital disruptions from enhancement you see the blockchain uh, the AR VR which are just introducing the uh, changes over to the environment and extend as, as we discussed extend I said it's like the markets are getting enhanced by using for example ebooks you know the conversational UX and the computer vision if I order something if I just take a picture and give it to the computer it just orders and get me within one or two days and uh, the transformation of the economy is just a subscription economy where I subscribe for everything you know and automatically emailers and you know a lot of uh, things just sub uh, just you know, is coming to me and reinvent which is like the uh, high level of disruptions which is in the digital space which affects all the industries for example smartphone and uh, revolutionize is a complete change in the shift in the digital disruption which is the cloud and if you see this the previous one is 2018 and the next one is 2023 uh, you know digital disruption scale and most of the uh, items that was you know in the enhanced stage was moved towards the transformation which is like a moderate disruption and the massive disruption is the cloud and smartphone in 2023 which where no one will be using the older phones like Nokia and things like that which is just moving to the smartphone this is the cloud on the digital disruption scale so year on year you see there are uh, you know shift towards the extent to transform and transform to reinvent and we may see here 2018 there is something which is in the reinvent stage has slowly moved to the revolutionized it completely revolutionized based on the technology business industry or society for example from default new apps in your data center and which is moving to the default new apps in the public cloud and now you see how the cloud has made a bigger changes over the environment you see this is a drop the cloud drop which is falling over the pond or a river or whatever it is and when there is a drop of cloud and all these elements like IT hardware IOT machine learning IT software lot of impact over these elements is because of cloud and cloud is really the modern baseline for many things like blockchain API economy and artificial intelligence quantum computing civilization which was not there like 20 years before if I am achieving it through uh, the individual computers which I lay in my data center and all the power put together in the cloud is going to help me a lot and if you see the augmented reality the computing power the digital business and the big data the next internal the next gen internal systems where if I converge together in a single place and I'm utilizing those power of uh, or the speed of uh, microprocessors to utilize the power and I do a small business is not just going to happen if I launch that powerful microprocessors in my environment so there are disruptions willful disruptions is the deliberate and aggressive use of the disruptions you have to see like this is going to be on the positive side like the person is giving a hey and by determination and uh, if you do this by yourself there is an opportunity but when you say the, if you feel a frowning effect of the disruptions it is going to be a negative feeling and this is not going to help you anymore and there is a five strategies to drive the disruption where this particular things even you is not applying only to the digital giants it also apply to 
the smaller companies or the mid sized companies or the large sized companies yes the first is the strategy is the offensive strategy when you say offensive strategy it is totally the innovation and uh, take an example of the introduction of the iphone you know where it has all those changes over nokia phones and windows phones and you know this will create a mouse trap over the total uh, economy and which is going to change the whole world so apple products nearly come in this uh, strategies they have mostly into offensive and uh, if you see facebook they are also on an innovation strategy and uh, alibaba is also in the innovative strategy and the second is the defensive strategy android is one of the biggest product introduced by google so google's goal is not to become better or you know to invent something they just have to defense whatever is coming in the competition is coming in the uh, from the innovation as good as they can in copying make a lot of money and they just want to avoid the monopoly the core business of advertisement is happening in this environment so when you see the on the defensive side google is mainly on the defensive side and alibaba is also on the defensive side and the third one is the uh destruction economy and you know where it has to a kind of anarchy i would say say bitcoin just enter just an extension of blockchain you know has introduced not to create anything but undermine the government banks to get disrupted because they are going to be the older elements you know in the market or in the industry for over more than a century or you know two centuries so the new technology is getting introduced for this in this destruction strategy you know which has no specific goal and the next one is serendipity the serendipity is nothing but the chance it does not take any strategy for example for example take google maps or google photos it was not created as an innovation it is not created for any competition and it is not for the destruction it is just created by some chance of you know creating something else and you know uber is using it uh, which is not uh, you know didn't came in a big way to change the environment uh, using technology but it was just using utilizing the uh you know the existing uh, gps which is there and the fifth one is really the self disruption so disrupting yourself uh say like ipod which was introduced by google which was uh, which was introduced by apple they thought that you know the ipad instead of uh, you know ipod we can introduce something else you know where you know things can be played like an application like a small computer you know you can take it you can present so and they feel that you know this ipod features can put into a really a bigger frame where people can use it like a computer which is an ipad so that's why they destroyed the ipod right and now no longer exists so apple itself made it a self disruptive for them to get into a better market and there are many ways google disrupts it okay and when you see from the offensive uh, strategy you see there is a lot of innovation coming inside and the organization emphasizes to do it for example like machine learning and autom- autonomous vehicle technology things like that and when you see defensive strategy the competition uh which is a good example of android and you know serendipitous there is no specific goal like as i discussed maps and photos were part of it and uh, when i see the destructive strategy the uh, complete uh, wifi and project 5 and you know things like that get into which made into a total uh, destruction of the existing uh, you know data cards and self destructive is transforming the business
so most of the organization does not emphasize it but but digital giants do it but these are the ways what google how google disrupts now let's look at a willful disruption internal intent model emphasis you see there is an amazon which you know does only the ex offensive and self disruptive strategies and uh, if you see google it has most defensive strategies and offensive is just like a uh, 75 percentage and alibaba is totally into offensive and totally into defensive but they don't have any self disruptive so if you see the disruptions innovation and transformation most of the companies you know like you know they look at only on innovation and transformation strategies they don't look at the disruption strategies when you see this uh, strategies like uh, you know i see the company has either innovation or transformation which was really apparent over the things but actually when you see there are the disruption strategies which is happening inside which is not really you know can be felt by the whole companies but disruption element is one of the thing happening inside the company which they will not feel but they call in the name of an innovation or transformation and the next question come like should i compete or partner with the digital giants for example auto you know 2016 in a chevrolet car which has introduced the uh, digital applications into the car by you know manufacturing uh the digital apps but it doesn't seems to be you know the car seems to be very good but obviously the apps which they made you know is not as good as the android or google i am using it on you know 2019 right so these companies want to prepare the digital elements on their own or they just have to adapt or go with whatever available in the market and if you see post 2016 lot of car companies started you know providing an interface to accept the uh, app uh, you know like the uh, uh, complete uh, ui of the apple iphone or android on 2012 if you see the audi uh, you know the car is good but electronics is not at all good every car factory car manufacturer connects now using apple carplay it has which has a better user interface even toyota now does it you know it is not customized and there is not too much money spent on it if i go and partner with digital giants and similarly navigation and maps if i just depart with my digital giant with google yes i am okay or otherwise i need to spend an r&d environment or you know the space where i need to get there okay and now what do car company do with autonomous vehicle with ai and the mapping data and you know they have to partner with google it's just <coughs> as easy it is and how have the digital giants disrupted in the market if you see facebook uh you know on their business side there is no user fee but it has totally disrupted like whatsapp is one of the example and uh <coughs> you can see the technology you know the like mobility the facebook and uh, the society there are so there are a lot of social impacts onto the society by the uh, you know the people connecting with their friends their relatives okay and even there is a workplace where people connect with the uh, you know official uh, uh, you know employees using the facebook and their colleagues so you can see the netflix alphabet and you know the amazon and amazon web services which had got disrupted in all these four elements yes if we try to incorporate these disruptions into our business model then it is going to you know really evolve in the future as we have seen that insurer uh, insurance ceo rightly said you know like uh, we have to act like amazon and google because our clients demand it and they expected us to do it if you see 
the secondary effects if you don't adopt or innovate something the secondary effects will be more disruptive than the in initial digital change so you have to adapt to the secondary any elements because all the customers even in the b2c space or in the b2b space people are changing people are evolving we need to adapt to new digital disruptions yes we have come to the end of the uh, session what is the recommendations that i get you know we need to uh, we just summarizing the items so treat disruption as an opportunity it is not a threat and use tools to help avoid treating fads as disruption don't think that you know the fads are disruption and then try adopting those fads into your thing unless the real society has uh, changed over it and you have to prioritize your opportunities and evaluating intent as part of your strategic analysis you just don't go blind with it you have to you know think about your intuition and the organization cap capacity to think about your strategic analysis to take over the digital disruption and you have to learn from the digital giants really because they are the one who is shaping the whole world economy in the digital world like google amazon facebook alibaba etc and if you disrupt willfully yes you are on the market or you know you are on the competition if you don't disrupt willfully and if you have a negative sense that things are happening over the market then in a long term definitely you are going to lose something so hope you have enjoyed this session uh, about the digital disruption and you have learned something uh, you know very interesting about the digital disruption and how you can convert to an opportunity and you how to get rid of your negative sense and you know make your business better thank you all and uh, if you have any questions just post it on the comment below thank you all thank you for your session today bye